Hi guys. Hello. Hi Thomas. Hi Esma. How are you doing? It's great. It's sunny, very hot right now in Sweden. It's about 30 degrees here. Wow. We're kind of oh, cooking out here. You beat us today. You beat us today. Yeah, well, thanks for joining us. Insanely so warm. Insane. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Thank you, Lee, for um, ruining my nice hot day. So I hope you <laughs> Yeah, midday sun is here in the UK at the moment. You're an hour ahead of us, I think, guys, aren't you? You're two o'clock, is that right? We're an hour, we're, it's two One hour ahead. We're an hour ahead. Yeah. It's two in the afternoon now. Great. Well, thank you for joining us. And of course, you know, there is a, a very good reason we've got you on the show today to. Uh, have a chat with you and see what you guys have been up to. So I think the car sticker, which you just shown us, is a good clue to what's going on today. Is it a clue? My other ride is the Millennium Falcon. Well, there's not many people can, that can have that sticker on their vehicle and actually mean it. So um, you want to show us what you've got to show us around today? Oh, well, okay. today we have a little, we had, had this little thing we've worked on for the past, I don't know, two years? Two years, yeah. Two years, a few weekends. A few weekends. A few, <laughs> a few weekends. Two hours. <laughs> a few hours every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's over here. I can show you actually. We can work. It's right over there in the corner here. You can go for it. Wow. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. And this is, this is our little, little. <laughs> our little hobby. A little hobby. <laughs> Wow, you've, you've taken joy building and Star Wars fandom to a whole new level. Do you want to climb aboard? I think that's a really good location to do the interview today. So uh, do you guys want to climb aboard and we'll cut to you we'll do that. at the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon? Right. <laughs> this is bonkers. <laughs> Normally, this whole console moves forward, but because the camera's in the way... Ah, uh, okay. Move it forward. Okay. And usually, yeah. you've, you've probably done, well, I know you've done all the research, you guys, but when we have larger things going into the cockpit, which is, includes Chewy, actually, at times, we take the door frame out. So oh. door frame, if there's anything big we need to get in the cockpit, it's a bit narrow at times, or getting seats in and out, sometimes we have to remove seats. But if we've got well, more, you know, more people in the cockpit, so we take we have the door frames quite narrow, as I'm sure you found out. It so is it is very narrow. We usually uh, take the door frame out just to make life a little bit easier. Uh, that makes sense. I mean, we'll have to know that when when we have bigger visitors, I yeah. guess in the future. <laughs> yeah. We can, pull we, out. Can, we can open it in the middle. That's true. This yeah. whole thing divides in three sections, so you can just move the whole front part <laughs> forward. And it's no sort of like issue getting in afterwards. Obviously, uh, I think the big question is why, um, how. <laughs> And, you know, obviously not everybody has a Millennium Falcon cockpit in their warehouse. And also, I guess, what's the relationship with you two guys? How, how did this come about? Are you uh, in a relationship? Are you friends? What's the deal? <laughs> we'll take it from the very beginning. We are not in a relationship. Best friends forever. Best friends forever. I, 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 cool. We became best friends starting about three years ago as best friends. And so this grew from that. We had no idea we could build a Falcon together, but we were best friends before even was a falcon it's kind of yeah, just we met at conventions and stuff yeah and then we became very good friends from that and then we've been to the latest celebration in um uh, chicago and then from being there we were inspired to do something on our own together yeah we, because we we saw all the amazing stuff that fans brought to the convention in in uh, chicago and we were like wow what if we could do something together? Because you've done your stuff and I've done my stuff. Yes. Never something together. As you know, I'm the joy builder and all kinds of joys from Arjun and Keiju and all those others actually. And Esma has done all kinds of props and stuff and all kinds of uh, costuming as well. And, and a, a mixture of things in between there as well. So from that combination, we can build a Falcon. Wow, so, like so the, the it, was, it was born at Celebration then in Chicago. That was That's where yeah. the, the light bulb was lit. Yeah, yeah. because oh. we were sitting there and we're like, how hard can it actually be to build? Yeah. We were I mean, at, we, it can't be that hard. <laughs> yeah. We were at the airport heading home in Chicago. We were sort of like had too much time on our hands, yeah. waiting for our flight to leave. So we were, we're sitting at this little um, restaurant, bar, bar, bar <laughs> pub, call whatever you want. And we said, what can we do in Sweden? And then we sort of like tried a few ideas. We said at the same time, why not try and build a Falcon? And from that, we said, well, how hard could it be? So we did a little... little Diagram on a, on a napkin there. This is after <laughs> after one was it? What we, what we did? Two. two drinks. Did a little diagram on a little napkin in the restaurant there while we're discussing how hard can it possibly be. 
And from that, we said, well, it seems easy enough. <laughs> How we had we had we didn't have the means, we had no no factory, no sort of building, <laughs> no money as such for this kind of like thing. We had really nothing at all. <laughs> a lot less. <laughs> a lot less of nothing. <laughs> No, but from that, we decided, well, we can give it a try. And we came home to our, our spouses and stuff, and, and they thought we were kind of like, sure. Yeah, we were like, we have such a great idea. We're going to build a falcon. <laughs> they, they were like, okay, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. you mm, can try. You can try. I, mean, so, I, I, I assume they were thinking of being a little, a, little, uh, a, little, a little falcon model, perhaps. They were thinking that, okay, how hard not be? But then yeah. began doing more diagrams and investing a lot of equipment to get things to get started and everything. Yeah. And then we got fortunate enough to, to find, get access to a, um, a, a, um, a factory, I guess we call it. Yeah. Yeah. And from there, we could sort of like begin fulfilling that little dream, mm -hmm. little dream, a few weekends. How and we thought, <laughs> and we actually thought we could manage to do that in like half a year, maybe? Eight months. Yeah. Eight months. Yeah. Eight months is... Maximum one year, we said. Yeah. How, how, it can't be longer than that. It can't take that long. So after oh. eight months. <laughs> after eight months, we had. We had the, 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 the base was complete, <laughs> and the, the basic frame was almost complete, oh. almost. And we thought that's not ourselves. Oh, wait, um, we're not quite there yet. Ah, no. give it, give it a few, a few, a few more weeks. Yeah, maybe five, six weeks. The panels are going to go very fast, but together anyway. Yeah, the interior can't take that long. Nah, <laughs> of course not. If if, if if the shell is there, how how hard can the interior be? No, but after, and then all of a sudden, around December time and, and January time of the first year, Corona appeared, appeared. <laughs> and that could have kind of like sort of put a damper on a few things yeah. about Absolutely. getting access to materials and, and getting sort of like able to travel as much as before back and forth. The location of the factory back then was wasn't where any of us actually lived. You got to travel to get out there as well, and that was also an extra. How far away time. was the location from home, guys? How far did you have to travel? On, 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 well, back then, for Esma, it was like about half an hour from Esma. For me, it's about an hour and a half. Wow. Okay. Every every weekend. Right. <laughs> every so you had to be really committed to a building. It wasn't. It wasn't just pop down there and spend half an hour. Then it was. No. Really yeah. no. Fortunately enough, our families are very accepting and understanding, and could see that we were very serious about doing this. So they didn't sort of like discourage us in any way. So keep going, but we believe in you, and that was that helped a whole lot. Yeah. I help. I can't imagine everyone can make a falcon and their spouses and always agree to it. Yeah. But they were like, "Sure, you guys, you guys are like Star Wars fans, over the top fans, perhaps." Um, sure, you have to <laughs> do it. Give it a try. How how hard can it be? <laughs> Yeah, I can only imagine my uh, my wife. That would be the last straw, and uh, I'd be I'd be building a falcon, but just on my own. Um, I can't imagine that being a, a thing. So, how many hours have you dedicated to actually getting to the stage you're at right now? Well, for the, each of us, it's a little bit closer to six thousand hours. This about now, I guess, for, for each of us, and we're, we actually are practically done. We're going to add the um, steering. Whatever oh, it is. I got it here. We're adding the steering wheel in a few few days and everything, and when we add both, what do they call it? Oh, and also the uh, the other thing that goes here, what it's called. Um, but other than that, it's actually stuff. This, the stuff, the things. Yeah. But, I mean, everything we see in here, actually, we actually did either three D print or design from scratch. Nonetheless, okay. every every even the lights we designed. I mean, every light, every thing you see, besides the actual literally switches that actually do work. Wow. We designed ourselves. Um, I mean, even the even the animations and all the displays we have here as well. We I designed them as well to make them animate as it would have been Star Wars animate and everything. So, so, so can I ask a question then? What what's this for? <laughs> uh, it's it's for us, our uh, personal use only. This is our this is our our, our this is, people have tents. We have a falcon. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. No, but it's actually for. I mean, it's for the it's for the fans. I mean, it's for us as well, personally. But it's actually for the fans as well, and to sort of say that if we can do this, so can any fan who has the, the means and the will and the willpower and and, and just just we want to inspire. We want to exactly. We want to travel with it. We want to visit different conventions and do the same thing that we experience. Exactly. We want to inspire us. That inspired us. So that's sort of. Cool. And it's been a, and it's, we had to learn so many things to get to get this whole thing completed because it just 
it's just S and I. And it's kind of like you think, well, how hard could that be? And then there's a lot of different kinds of techniques involved to get certain things. All the 3D prints we designed ourselves and everything, and everything you see in it has been designed by us. So it's like, from every, every, we learned quite a lot doing this. Yes, both possibly. <laughs> we learned quite a, a lot extensively wise <laughs> and do over and do right kind of wise. <laughs> But it's so been, guys, uh, where, where do you get the plans from? Where, where do you get the design from? What you know, did you have some really good inside information? How did that all come about? We had a little, more, a little bit of both, we had inside information, yes. Um, also, we have a lot of plans we, we, we can find online, but not everything explains the details. So, that's actually more screen grabs and stuff. Because, I mean, <laughs> I think you can imagine how many times we watched and re watched the solo movie, yes. This ship is built around a solo movie, not any other any other yeah. Star Wars film, because every other Star Wars film has its own version or flavor of how the Falcon looks. Like you, you did in in, in, the, in the last three, uh, Lee, that they've changed between that version and the solo version, which is more of a newer look, yeah. cleaner look. But I mean, it's but I mean again, we had to look at a lot of screen grabs and a lot of like just. A lot of research is involved to get all these details. I mean, the actual shape and everything, that's easy to sort of figure out easy. <laughs> Two years later, easy to figure out. But I mean, but still the, the actual, the details of the switches and the lighting and, 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 the, and, the, and the panels behind us and in front of us, and even the seatings and the seats behind us as well, all these things have to sort of do screen grabs and measurements and remeasuring. And you know, it's been a, <laughs> it's been a lot, of, a lot of more time doing research and actually physically building it probably in the end. Amazing. So I should know this answer, but I don't. You may, you guys may be able to educate us on this one. Was the Solo Falcon a redressed Rise of Skywalker Falcon? Do you know, or whatever? You know, was it? Was did they use the same set through all the films in in the new in the new run of films? We, funny, funny enough, we actually know the answer to that question <laughs> because if you look at all these promotion pictures from the Solo movie and from the Rise of Skywalker and all, all the ones that came later on down the line, all the three that came in the end, you could see that they took pictures of like Chewie on occasions. He sits in the Falcon in one scene, which is actually maybe from the last three. Another scene is from actually the Solo movie. Yeah. Yeah. You have the whole set. And so they had they did change a few panels out. You could tell that and on occasions, even the background, the, the exit, yeah. they've changed the exit of the corridor, how it looks, because the corridor in the Falcon in solo is different from the full corridor the lighting in, is totally different yes you have green lighting in the last three films and you have a bluish whitish lighting in the um uh, solo film okay so those things all change out i mean even the displays what they display changes as well and that's very confusing for us in the start because we were looking at this set movies like behind the scenes movie pictures and we saw oh this is from solo movie i was like what's that in the roof we forgot to make this what's this yes yeah. <laughs> and we figured out no, we figured out that, and again, I can imagine Lee, you know, they answer this question, but, but um, I can imagine they were filming both films, some films at the same time, parallel to each other. Yes. I imagine they were filming Solo during the time they were filming uh, Rise and The Last Jedi yeah. from around there. That, that didn't happen. There wasn't any crossover while we were shooting Solo, so there wasn't an issue of like sharing the Falcon for two no, films no, but I mean, at the time. But I would, I would guess that they would have used the same set and just redressed yeah. it personally. Yeah. Um, it comes in sections, as does yours, I know. And, you know, the, the cockpit, even if they did a new one, they would have just been able to bolt it onto the rest of the set. Mm. And certainly for Solo, they also extended the rooms as well, because we saw a lot more of the Falcon yeah. during Solo than we do normally. So, yep. um, yeah, they, they but, certainly extended it, but they would just break away parts. But in Solo, they never showed the actual very front of this console. Uh, never okay. the thing. They never, never filmed the actual very front where the, the things are in the, the front are. So we had to choose. That, one painful. that was painful trying to figure which one actually it could have been. So we changed the thought about the new hope perhaps closer to that one, or maybe they changed it entirely. So it was like a bit of a, I guess because they had to film, they had the camera in a cockpit at the same time. There's no place to have the entire thing up there in front as well. So we had to sort of like do some educated guessing there to yeah. figure out which it actually was. But it was fun. I mean, it was still fun. Amazing. But I mean, also even, mentioned the, before, even the mentioned seats before. you made from scratch, is that right? Because I think I, I, Esma did a lot of the um, sewing and what have you for the seat covers. And, and uh, yes, yeah, we, we, we actually were looking for some, what was it, Saab or? It's Audi. Audi? Porsche. No. Audi. 
Miss Mowdy. Miss Mowdy. No, it was it, apparently the way the story goes. I think this is correct anyway. That they used the original film. They used it was actually seeds from an Audi. I think it was. Oh, yes. I so we we're trying to find that makeup Audi, which is anywhere to find, obviously. So we end up buying another Audi. Yeah. Seeds from another Audi, tearing up the seeds totally. Totally from from the ground upward and then she reupholstered them from scratch wow. and that was like that was over that was over a two-year period because that's you had to take pause between that process and door anyway and the fabric wasn't the right. fabric defined it's like that's 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 it was and it's just starting hanging and, and yeah, i had to be there trial and errors and some fabric stayed in tour in the end had to take like it was we figured it out in the end i bought this so expensive real Mokka, like uh, suede, um, suede, in Turkey. Perfect, but there were no stretch whatsoever. I could not use it, and it was so thin and tear apart. When I oh it. no! So, like, so, so there's a lot of pain there. Yeah. <laughs> and and in, in case you're wondering, our very first build in the talking was this. Started this console here. Yeah. We never finished it. We started this is the basic shape, and our last finished thing in this whole Falcon. What's the console? <laughs> <laughs> so we started the first two weeks, more or less, building the center part, and we stopped right there, and we built the whole thing after that. And then when we finished the, this project, and we're like, how did we, how, why, why did we do this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. I mean, it's like, it's all these things that should do work as well and everything, and it's, it, it's, it's been a labor of love and tears, Blood, sweat, and tears. Lots of tears. <laughs> Many very tears. Testing, very testing for your friendship at times, I'm sure. <laughs> Are we still friends? <laughs> good job. Good job. You're such good friends. So you you say you plan to hopefully travel with this, obviously, when we get to more normal times. I assume you haven't yeah. got anything lined up just yet for this. Any events? Well, because of the through? pandemic and everything. I mean, we're looking at probably next year, if we're going to do celebration next year, perhaps. We're hoping we can do that probably next year, and um, and after that, will probably be our premiere showing at Celebration if that becomes because it's, 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 it's start, yeah, it's starting a dream. there. Yeah. That's a dream, amazing. That's, well, that's good. Well, I hope negotiations go well for that. And would the plan be to let people go on board and sit in the seats yeah. and stuff? That's yeah? the plan because the, 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 the way the whole thing works is that the console moves forward. And the seats are like bolted to the ground, obviously. It's like easy swivel in the chairs and get in here, more or less. So it's, it's designed for most body shapes, I guess. Yeah. How do you get it from where you are right now out to the US? How do you ship something like that? Is it containers? Is it on the back of a lorry? How does that, how do you ship something like that? It can both do containers as well as lorries. Well, to get it from here to our, our previous location, we use a, a lorry then. Yeah. And it's it was very important for us before we even start building this, that we thought about transportation so we wanted to make it easy for us even if it's just us two yeah we can easily take it apart and move it with we have i think it's six wheels under each uh, six it's actually six wheels under yeah, each each each, each each carriage yeah. um and it's very easy to move around so. so what happens is that you can take the, the because of the falcon's height is higher than a container's height and we didn't want to compromise. No, so we decided to make the cut. You can definitely pull the entire roof off if you wish and put it on the side and then put it, get it in the container easily. So we had the design from the beginning, as I said, already thought through about how we transport this, this, this monstrosity or this colossus. It's pretty big. It's, it's, it's pretty big. It's, 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 it's over three meters tall. Yes. And it's over five, six, six meters long. And three meters wide, almost there about there is a, no, wow. three meters wide is actually exactly. And well, it's it's a lot of thought behind before we even built the entire interior, how everything would work together, making it look as if it doesn't come apart, yeah. actually, yeah. making it almost seamless in a way. And 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 we figured it all out, but it wasn't it's a lot of math. So yeah. stay in school. And I learn can't math. Really <laughs> <laughs> so don't give up math. And I like a teacher, by the way, Lee. Nice teacher. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd be on brand. Um, so what's next for you guys? Is is this going to, you know, are we going to get bigger? Are we going to... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's, that, looks, that looks pretty definite. <laughs> uh, no more Falcon. We, we agreed that after this Falcon, we won't do a Falcon-sized thing. No. We won't add right. on to the Falcon either. No. But we're going to try but, to... But, yes. But. 
we have other things in in in, in the works. That, yes, that, that works with this. Yes. Yeah. Well, probably what you'll find, though, surely the Millennium Falcon is uh, famous for constantly needing repairs. So you might yeah. think <laughs> this is all you're going to be doing ever. It's just adding and repairing and, you know, that kind of thing. Or do you, be... are you totally confident that, you know, because shipping stuff, you know, wherever you go from point to point, you're going to pick up things as you go along. You know, you might want to make modifications and changes. This could be another 6,000 hours worth of work, right? <laughs> 6,000, I, 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 I doubt that. But I mean, it, it, people do um, um, wear out parts. They sit in the chairs, they sort of like break buttons, they rip things off. And, I mean, we have some VIP uh, shows. Shows, here, yeah. And, and we have small children testing things for us to see if it's going to break. And, it, it's still, it's still in it's, one it's, piece. But, so, so far, so good. But, yeah. but I mean, it's, it's, it, it, we, we don't. Nothing is in, it, is totally durable, withstanding the, the, the lovely um, hands of children and even adults. And of course, because we have done everything ourselves, we have all the printings, all everything in. in hand. We can easily print new yes. parts again. We can have a reserve set of parts just in case things we are sort of questionable about but will the last. Yeah, yeah maybe travel right? with a box of spares. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> or a 3D feature. Or a second thousand is sort of hazardous. First day of That's what happens with us R2 builders, doesn't it? Before you know, you've just got another one to build because you've got so many spares. So there you go. What's this space? <laughs> Not going to happen. Yeah. Not going to happen. But I mean, we can talk about L3 if you want. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, I'm working right now on L3 as a either having her somewhere in the cockpit or somewhere outside the cockpit with animatronics and stuff. Give more of an, an added experience about this. Yeah. And right. it seems like one of those things that they give people a, a little bit of a, a little extra. Yeah. And just sitting here, even we have sound effects here, and we have everything, the whole ambient feeling around the Falcon as well, giving you a, a real experience about just being in her, yeah. actually. The full Star Wars effect. Brilliant, brilliant. And, and Thomas, every time I see you, I ask you this question every time. So it's, this isn't solo related, but I've got to ask. How's your K2SO coming on? <laughs> uh, this is this is just the thing. Um, before the Falcon came around, I was working on K2. But because of the Falcon, every every, every hour of, of every woken hour of, 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 or day or minute of, of, of fixing anything was all focused on the Falcon for the past two years. And then when I just finished the, we just finished the talk we thought well, well maybe you can build a k build a, a l3 which actually works well with the this falcon version yeah so and yes. and k2 doesn't never, never sits actually in a falcon ever yeah. that we know of anyway so it felt like i like building droids as well so we can do a k2 do an l3 you've got many droid children at home and i feel <laughs> quite sorry for them because <laughs> Yeah, I have a Wally. Some more attention. I have a Wally and an R2, an R a BBA. Typical, typical builder. You've got so many projects on the go that. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, time, I, think yeah. Sam is, I think Sam is worse than me. He has much more there in his little little workshop. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you know, I'm at that stage. I think. <laughs> yeah, there's I've got a lot of gear here, but not a Falcon. And I'm, I'm looking going, yeah, well, you know, no. <laughs> We're, we're, um, we're, uh, don't, don't go there, Sam. Don't go there, Sam. I did I'll attempt help you, Sam. I'll help you. No, I did attempt. <laughs> um, a few weekends and you're done. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, no, I don't think I'll. Uh, I don't think I'll partake. But you know, congratulations and well done on what you've done there. What an enormous accomplishment you've had, and that you know, just looking at it, it's just absolutely insane. Uh, you know, it really lend, it lends itself to you know, quite an incredible experience for, for even things like uh, vlogs and things, you know, and YouTube and all that kind of crazy stuff. So, you know, I'm sure if you haven't already engaged into that sort of space already, then I suggest you would do that as well. And, you know, I'm sure well, we, come on and uh, support you. And... Well, if you search in, in uh, YouTube, you just search for the Swedish Falcon. Yeah. We and we come up there. Yeah. Same, same on Instagram and Facebook. Facebook as well. You just search yeah, and I will say you put a beautiful day. assembly video together. I, I watched it this morning as a bit of a search, which is you know just under ten minutes. It's nice from start to end. Well, of, of the yeah, journey. That's also under that. The story of the switch Falcon. Yeah. Right. That's the yeah. first story. Yeah. Working, working on part two now. Yeah. <laughs> no. 
the, the aftermath of his finished file giving. <laughs> I've, just, I've just followed you. I've just followed you. No, amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, Absolutely brilliant. You deserve, you, many more you. you deserve many more subscribers than you have at the moment. So uh, keep, keep plucking away at it and keep getting noticed. Thanks, guys. Thank you for your time. And I can't wait to sit aboard the Falcon myself, you know, when, wherever it may be. Um, is it VIP I, I can't wait. Mate. Pleasure will be all ours. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, Lee, again. It's been great talking to you guys. Thank you both. Take Thanks, care. Thank you Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.